My name's Steve Brannan. I'm the owner of the business at the Old Vic, um, Chatham Street, Stockport, one of Stockport's premier ale houses. Years ago, we, um, I just happened to say to somebody that was overheard by many people, don't, don't skip it, Vic it. Well, they've taken me at my word and regularly things appear, whereas you'd expect things to go missing things appear that have been left. Somebody brought me a typewriter in that's living over there. They said, do you want this typewriter? It doesn't work. I said, yeah, I just put it over there. I've never really moved it from there since. Um, some people call it junk. I call it high value objet d'art. Prior to being in the, the pub business, I was a police officer, Great Manchester Police for 13 years. Um, unfortunately, I had an accident and had to, had to take my, um, my career elsewhere. So I did a little bit of work in sales and the building trade and various bits and pieces. Um, an opportunity arose where the tenancy for this place came up. So myself and my partner, Joanne, took it on board. I suppose my role here, apart from the fact that the general rumour or the general rule of thumb is I don't do anything, I just sit here, just sit here and drink and moan. But I like to see myself as the overall ringmaster to keep all the little bubbles of people all nice and safe and friendly and warm. The main mechanic we have here for maintaining order and a modicum of common sense, no swearing, no swearing whatsoever. And then people, if they do let out an expletive and they get reminded and I just say quietly, let me just tell you that they're only resting, they're not retired. You have to be sensible and look at yourself and your age and think how long you're going to continue. You have no intention of curling up and dying just yet. But the more folk that are involved, like my friend Rob, who's knocking about somewhere, that when the rain handing comes over, then it won't be a shock to anybody's system because everybody's, I say everybody, there's probably about 10 regular people are doing little bits of the component parts of the whole job. So if people continue to do that, and then something happens and I can't continue, then the thing should still be running because we want it to survive. It's something that we've put a lot of time and effort into. And when you think back, you know, 16 years, it's, it's pretty much a lifetime, really, for some people, that you don't want it to just be wasted, because if we'd not bought the building, the knocking bed, it would have been demolished. So it'd be just another little place that would be gone.